famous? I'm famous, Sharon. Lovely. <laughs> Self-proclaimed famous Sharon is very, very famous for absolutely nothing at all. Can you do duck face? You go. Perfect out. Okay, ready? Here we go. The Perth performer launched into stand-up comedy when Fringe debuted in Perth five years ago. She's one of thousands of performers taking part in the annual month-long festival, which attracts artists from interstate and overseas. We've got a tasting plate of the best right on our doorstep. Does used to have to fly to Edinburgh to see some of these shows, and now you can just catch a bus from Balga. Fringe World has become a huge success. It had just 20 shows when it launched in Perth's cultural precinct in 2011. This year it has more than 700 acts across 150 venues and is expected to draw crowds of more than 750,000 people. And it's also expected to exceed last year's box office sales of $6.4 million. <laughs> It's now the third largest fringe in the world, behind the festival's pioneer Edinburgh and Adelaide in South Australia. The key to its success, offering cheap and fun entertainment. I'm here with my family. We're having a picnic with red jam. Mm, red jam. Uh, this is the feminist musical anthem. <laughs> Frisky and Manish were a headline act at Perth's first Fringe. What about girls just want to have fun? Nope, girls would like a career, please. The London-based duo have attended their fair share of Edinburgh Fringe festivals and say the cheap and cheerful style of entertainment has appealed to Perth audiences. We are a kind of a cheap night out. It's, it's at an accessible ticket price. That's been such a focus for us, is really trying to attract um, a lot of people that never really saw themselves going to an arts festival in the past. My name is Muscle Crow. The festival started as the experimental offshoot of the more established Perth International Arts Festival. The model is similar to the Edinburgh Fringe, which started in 1947 when a small group of performers turned up to the local International Arts Festival uninvited. They performed on the fringes of the main event, aiming to prove anyone should be allowed to take part. More artists join the movement each year and to this day the two festivals still run side by side. But with the rapid growth of fringe shows on offer and its spread into outlying suburbs such as Mandra and Fremantle, has Perth's fringe become too big? It really has grown to the point where we really have to chase down um, you know, the audience that we think would enjoy our show. It's totes more competitive, but that's good isn't it Dads? We've just got to get a bit more match fit. This is a real, a really a key question we keep asking is like when when is it too big and when do we need to start putting some things in place to, to slow down growth? We still feel that the, the festival is at a really, a really vibrant stage of its, of its growth and, um, and that the average audiences right across the festival have been really strong. Oh, I, need to do, I need to do more Zumba. Okay.